Hey everyone, Prince B here, and today I want to talk about the Yu-Gi-Oh card number 101 Silent Honors arc. Over the past few weeks I've been getting back into the game after a hiatus, and when I first came back I was greeted with this guy. Now I was vaguely keeping up with new cards while I wasn't playing, but my memory must have been fuzzy because I've noticed this card getting misplayed a lot during random duels on Dueling Network, and the first few times I didn't really question it because I kind of remembered the effect was you can steal the special summoned monster. So, uh, what I overlooked was a key condition to this effect. Before we get to that though, let's review his effect. Number 101 Silent Honors Arc is a rank 4 Water Exceeds Aqua Monster with 2100 attack and 1000 defense. It also requires any two level 4 monsters to make, so it's generic and is almost an extra deck staple at this point unless you're a budget player like me, in which case you're probably not going to have the $50 to shell out for one. Anyways, its effect reads, you can detach two Xyz materials from this card, then target one special summoned monster your opponent controls, and face up attack position. Attach it to this card as a face up Xyz material. You can only use this effect of number 101, Silent Honor's Arc, once per turn. If this face up card would be destroyed, you can detach one Xyz material from this card instead. Alright, so that's a potent effect. It'll steal almost any big relevant monster in the meta right now, from a Judgment Dragon to a Draco Sack, um, pretty much anything not called Mermail Abyss Gaios, where it can just be like, okay, I'll just chain my effect to negate yours. Um, just so long as that monster was special summoned, it's going to become material for this card. Well, here's the part that everyone overlooks. Target one special summoned monster your opponent controls, and face up attack position. See that there? That says attack position. Now this is where it's getting misplayed. I often found that I'd go into a Maestro of the Symphony Jin or a Zen Mains in defense mode. My opponent would be like, well that's cool, number 101, steal your monster. Well I didn't really question it then, but after looking closer to, at the card to try and find some counters to it and everything, I was like, wait a minute, this isn't possible, they can't be doing this because Ark needs the monster to be in attack position. I know most high tier players know this and everything, but a lot of the lower ranking players may not realize this, and it's a pretty important fact to know. Now getting this guy off the field is tough, since he can use the monster he stole as a shield. Let's look at some counters that work in most decks. I'm not talking things that are deck specific, just things that you can splash into any deck really. Firstly, you've got the generic stuff like Dimensional Prison or Fiendish Chain and Effect Veiler. Dimensional Prison is great because it banishes, so it bypasses 101's protection effect. Fiendish will negate the effect and lock it out of attacking, and the same goes for Veiler, but they can still attack. Remember that if you're using Veiler or Chain to let them detach the materials first for the cost. Compulsory Evacuation Device can also spin it back to the extra deck, and Warning can just negate the summon outright. Obviously the traps can be Forbidden Lanced or Mystical Space Typhoon before you play them, or even Trap Stunned or Decreed, but those are just some options. Next let's look at two generic Xyz monsters that can take down Ark. The first is Maestroke the Symphony Gin. Now this is pretty situational, but, situational, but let's say they took one of your other monsters and you still have Maestroke in defense mode. Next turn you can summon anything with more than 1,000 attack, have Maestroke set the arc face down with his effect, and then attack with both of them. And it's not a great play, but it'll work. If you really need to get arc off the field, and you just have Maestroke and another monster, it can work. Obviously you have to watch out for effect veilers on your Maestroke and any cards they may have in the back row like a Mirror Force. The other card is number 50, Black Ship of Corn. Now, a lot of people dropped number 50 for number 101 when it came out, but this is why I feel that number 50 is still relevant. Obviously, the same rules for Maestroke apply for Corn. Veilers in back row, like Fiendish Chain or Solemn, will ruin your day. 
Number 50 can detach one material and send one card with less than or equal attack to this card straight to the grave. Number 50 and number 101 have equal attack, so this will work on him. And since it sends, not destroys, Ark can't save itself. Also, number 50 is cheaper than Ark, so it's good for budget players, and it can hit the things Ark can't, like Maestroke, Zen Mines, Gachi Gachi Gontetsu, and even equipped engineer that like to hide in defense mode. So that's just some simple ways to play around Ark. And also now you'll be able to correct people who try and steal your defense mode stuff with it. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know of any other good generic counters to Ark. Obviously not something that wor only works in one deck, like Medulce Queen Tiara Misu or Abyss Skyos because not everyone can use that. Also, before I go, I'd like to give a shout out to Rinmaru Games, which is where I got the OC used in this video. I'll post the link down below. Thanks for watching.